and Sun or Winter, I'm here to share with you the difference between G1, G2 and G3 science subjects at lower secondary and upper secondary that will be implemented very soon. Okay, G3 science represents express standard science at lower secondary. G2 means normal ACAT science, which is at a less demanding level compared to the express or G3 standard. G1 is the normal tech standard, okay, which is the lowest level in terms of the difficulty. All right. So students who are posted to do mostly G2 subject can opt to take G3 if they are found to be competent and able to handle G3 subjects, where they are more interested and more motivated to do at a high level. But at secondary, which is upper secondary, which is very different, there will still be pure science, combined science, and normal tech science. So let me explain to you the difference. G3 pure science is the current pure science chemistry physics bio. No change to that. G3 combined science will be the combined science subjects taken for the express students. G2 will be the N level science subjects, and G1 science is for the normal tech science subject. So there is no G2, G3 science in Singapore secondary school. There is no combined science physics chem bio at G1. All right. So this is very good. Uh, I've encountered students who have difficulty coping with G3 pure science. They can drop to G3 combined or if they are really very um, weak in the subject and want to focus on other talents and um, subjects, then they can opt to go for the G2 science subject. It's perfectly fine. I see many express students or students taking mostly G3 struggling with G3 combined science even. So I strongly advise this group of students to take G2 science if they have no interest in the science subjects. Anyway, you're not going to take science in polytechnic or university. So rather than investing so much time in doing it for a G3 subject, why not drop to G2 so they can focus on doing better in other subjects and achieve your desired academic goals? That's it. Thank you.